Hey guys, Johnny from Titan. And today I want to talk to you about one of the questions that I get over and over and over. The question is, is it safe for me to do medical testosterone therapy? And the answer could be yes or it could be no, right? It really depends on you. Let me break that down and really explain it so you guys really understand what I'm talking about because that's kind of confusing. Yes or no, John? So, yes, it is safe for you to do medical testosterone therapy. Now, when we talk about some of these things, we really want to look at your health history because that's going to be a determining factor in is it safe for me to do medical testosterone therapy, right? So, if you're very healthy, you've never had no problems, no health history as far as cancers or cardiovascular or anything like this, then it's probably going to be ultimately safe for you to do testosterone replacement therapy, okay? Now, testosterone through the years has got a bad rap. It really had a black eye and was the redheaded stepchild per se. Um, you know, before when we were, you know, first getting into this business a long time ago, about 10 years ago, all the doctors that we talked to at that, that point in time were saying testosterone is going to give you a heart attack, blood clots, strokes, DVTs, you're going to get prostate cancer, all these negative things go along with testosterone replacement therapy. Now, this was 10 plus years ago. Fast forward to today. We know we have a lot of different studies that, that talk about testosterone replacement therapy being beneficial in a number of different ways for males and females. Now, males and females both need a healthy range of testosterone. The ranges are just a little bit different. Males need a little bit more and females don't need as much, okay? But when we talk about this, as long as we're getting a medical dose and we're getting monitored correctly, what does that mean? So that means that you're not getting overdosed on the, the milligrams of you're supposed to be taking of testosterone, right? We want to be in a healthy range. Now, each lab has different reference ranges, so it's not just one range that I can tell you today. It would be you know, determined by the reference range on the lab of where you got this blood taken from. The other thing I want to talk about here is when we talk about testosterone replacement therapy on there, then we talk about where we're getting it from. So if you're getting it prescribed from a U.S. licensed pharmacy, then at that point, we really know what you're getting, okay? And, and some people, they don't want to get this and they're self-prescribing or they're doing these other things. And we really don't know where that testosterone is coming from, where it's made, concentration levels. Is the dose correctly? Is it underdosed, overdosed? So when we take testosterone, right, it's going to be healthy for our body. But there's some different things that testosterone does do or can do. And this could be raising your hemoglobin, hematocrit, and red blood cell count. Now this can happen to just about anybody out there. It really depends on the person. There's no uh, cookie cutter plan for this person it's gonna raise on and this person it's not. But if you're getting medically monitored, they should be blood testing you and they should be running a CBC. It's a complete blood cell count. And this complete blood cell count is going to check your hemoglobin, hematocrit, red blood cell count, white blood cell count, and so on. This will determine if you need to donate blood or give blood, right? If this is not monitored correctly, and hemoglobin, hematocrit, and red blood cell count goes too high for a long period of time. This could cause negative health issues for you. DVTs, blood clots, strokes, okay? That's where testosterone really got the negative black eye portion of this, right? Because doctors or people that were taking this were not monitoring correctly, and people were running really high levels in hemoglobin, hematocrit, and red blood cell counts. And in turn, this was causing them to have these negative health issues. We know that if we monitor things correctly, if we know the dosage is proper, then we can definitely prescribe testosterone to people in a healthy, enlightening way and will benefit them in the quality of life day to day, okay? Because we know if our testosterone levels are low as males or females, it's gonna affect us in the exact same way. You're gonna have low energy level possibly, right? libido could be in the toilet your brain might not function like it should so brain fog when you're thinking of that word it's on the tip of your tongue you just can't get it that could be brain fog and that could be attributed to the receptors of the brain from testosterone okay and we could also talk about fat deposits sugar levels cardiovascular issues and a bunch more so we want to make sure that everything in our body is properly balanced and monitored including testosterone and we know nowadays that people are being very deficient in testosterone, males and females. And before it started at the age of 
30 or 40, they said. There's different studies on both, that you're losing a percentage of testosterone every year. But we blood test a lot of different people here, and obviously around the country, there's a lot of people that are more informed or educated about their hormones, and specifically testosterone. So testosterone is not a bad thing. I always hear about it all the time. It's an anabolic steroid. Yes, it is an anabolic steroid. But I always ask the person, did you know that anabolic steroid was originally produced in your body and probably still is produced? If not a lot, a little bit, right? So we always gotta think of this. Don't always you know, believe the hype. Really educate yourselves. Talk to a medical provider that knows these things, is educated on these things, and they can treat you properly. If you're looking for more information about testosterone, medical testosterone treatments, and how it can benefit you, then you can call us here or text us at Titan Medical Center. The number is 727-389-3220. We can run a simple blood test or send you in for blood anywhere in the country. We can send you into a lab that's local to you, and we can see where your testosterone levels are really at. And if they need help, that's when you can really take that step and educate decision to help yourself for a better quality of life. If you don't need testosterone, your testosterone's optimal already, don't mess with it. You don't need to. If you introduce this to your body and you don't need it, your natural function could be shut down, okay? And may never come back to really where it was at. This is a big, big, important thing to really look at. So one, educate yourself about testosterone. Know where your levels are at. Get the blood test. Two, find a medical provider that is educated in hormones and has been doing this, has a track record that can definitely take care of all your needs not just prescribing it to you, but correctly monitoring you as well and making sure all the other hormones that go right along with testosterone are balanced as well. So guys, this is just some of the tips and tricks that I wanna share with you guys so you guys have a healthier, happier life and you guys are living to the best possible, optimal levels you can. Guys, check out our website, titanmedicalcenter.com. If you guys wanna become a patient and know more about it again, like I said, call or text us. 727-389-3220. Thanks, guys.